the legacy of Homo erectus, what they left behind. Introduction Homo erectus, one of our ancient ancestors, has left a profound legacy that continues to shape our understanding of human evolution. This hominin species, which lived from approximately 1.9 million to 110,000 years ago, was remarkably successful in terms of its geographical spread, longevity, and adaptation to various environments. The archaeological sites, fossils, and artifacts associated with Homo erectus offer invaluable insights into their way of life, cognitive abilities, and technological advancements. This comprehensive discussion will explore the legacy of Homo erectus through an examination of key archaeological sites, fossil discoveries, and artifacts, highlighting their significant contributions to our understanding of human evolution. Archaeological Sites Dmanasai, Georgia the discovery of Homo erectus fossils in Dmanasai, Georgia, has provided crucial information about the early migration of the species out of Africa. The site, dating back to approximately 1.8 million years ago, contains some of the oldest known hominin fossils outside Africa. The well-preserved skulls and post-cranial remains found here have offered insights into the physical characteristics and variability within early Homo erectus populations. The presence of simple stone tools, known as Olduin tools, at Dmanasai also suggests that these early hominins had developed rudimentary technological skills for processing food and possibly for defense. Zucudian, China Zucudian, also known as Dragon Bone Hill, is one of the most famous Homo erectus sites in the world. Located near Beijing, this site has yielded a wealth of fossils and artifacts dating from around 780,000 to 400,000 years ago. The remains of over 40 individuals, including several nearly complete skulls, have been found here. The site provides evidence of the use of fire, which represents a significant milestone in human evolution. The controlled use of fire would have allowed Homo erectus to cook food, stay warm, and protect themselves from predators, demonstrating advanced cognitive and social behaviors. Ngandong, Indonesia The Ngandong site in Java, Indonesia, is notable for containing some of the most recent Homo erectus fossils dating to around 110,000 years ago. These discoveries have challenged previous assumptions about the timeline of Homo erectus extinction and their overlap with other hominin species. The Ngandong fossils include skulls and long bones that exhibit features characteristic of late Homo erectus populations. The persistence of the species in Southeast Asia highlights their adaptability and long-term survival in diverse environments. Kubifora, Kenya Kubifora, located near Lake Turkana in Kenya, is a rich archaeological site that has provided extensive evidence of early Homo erectus occupation. Dating back to approximately 1.9 million years ago, the site contains numerous fossils and stone tools, illustrating the technological and anatomical evolution of Homo erectus in East Africa. The Acheulean tools found at Kubifora represent a significant technological advancement over earlier Olduin tools, indicating increased cognitive abilities and manual dexterity. Ataperca, Spain The Ataperca site in Spain, particularly the Cima de los Husos, Pit of Bones, has yielded a remarkable collection of Homo erectus and other early hominin fossils. Dating to around 430,000 years ago, the site contains the remains of at least 28 individuals. The well-preserved fossils have provided critical insights into the physical characteristics, 
health, and behavior of these ancient hominins. Additionally, the presence of Acheulean tools at Ataperca suggests that Homo erectus populations in Europe had developed sophisticated toolmaking skills. Fossils Anatomical features The fossils of Homo erectus exhibit a unique combination of primitive and derived anatomical features, reflecting their transitional status between earlier hominins and modern humans. Key characteristics include a prominent brow ridge, a low forehead, and a long, low cranial vault. The brain size of Homo erectus, ranging from 600 to 1,100 cubic centimeters, was significantly larger than that of earlier hominins but smaller than that of modern humans. The postcranial remains indicate a robust and muscular body, well suited for long distance walking and endurance running, suggesting a highly active and mobile lifestyle. Significant fossil discoveries Turkana boy one of the most complete Homo erectus skeletons ever discovered is the Turkana boy, found near Lake Turkana in Kenya. This nearly complete skeleton, dating to around 1.6 million years ago, belongs to a juvenile male estimated to be around 8 to 12 years old at the time of death. The Turkana boy provides invaluable information about the growth and development of Homo erectus, as well as their physical adaptations. The long legs and narrow pelvis indicate an efficient bipedal locomotion, while the well-developed limb muscles suggest a highly active lifestyle. Java Man Java Man, discovered by Eugene Du Bois in the late 19th century, was one of the first Homo erectus fossils to be found. The fossils, consisting of a skullcap and femur, were unearthed in Trinil, Java, and date to around one million years ago. Java Man's discovery provided the first evidence of early hominins outside Africa and supported the hypothesis of a widespread distribution of Homo erectus. The skullcap exhibits typical Homo erectus features, such as a prominent brow ridge and a long, low cranial vault. Peking Man Peking Man refers to a group of Homo erectus fossils discovered at Zucudian, China, in the 1920s and 1930s. These fossils, dating from approximately 780,000 to 400,000 years ago, include several skulls, jaws, and teeth. Peking Man provides important insights into the morphology and behavior of Asian Homo erectus populations. The well-preserved skulls show advanced cranial features, such as a larger brain size and a more rounded skull shape, compared to earlier hominins. Songiron fossils The Sangiron site in Indonesia has yielded a significant number of Homo erectus fossils, dating from around 1.5 million to 800,000 years ago. The fossils include skulls, jaws, and limb bones, representing a diverse sample of individuals. The Sangaran fossils have contributed to our understanding of the anatomical diversity within Homo erectus populations and their evolutionary adaptations to different environments. The discovery of stone tools at the site also suggests that Homo erectus in Southeast Asia had developed advanced technological skills. Artifacts Stone tools The stone tools associated with Homo erectus represent a significant technological leap from earlier hominin tool cultures. The development and use of these tools reflect increased cognitive abilities and manual dexterity, enabling Homo erectus to adapt to a wide range of environments and ecological niches. Olduin tools the earliest stone tools used by Homo erectus belong to the Olduin tradition, characterized by simple flakes and cores. 
These tools, found at sites such as Dmanasai and Kubifora, date back to approximately 1.9 million years ago. Olduin tools were likely used for a variety of purposes, including cutting, scraping, and pounding, aiding in the processing of food and other materials. Acheulean tools. The Acheulean tool culture, associated with Homo erectus, represents a major technological advancement over the Olduin tradition. Acheulean tools, dating from around 1.76 million to 300,000 years ago, include large bifacial hand axes, cleavers, and picks. These tools are characterized by their symmetrical shape and refined craftsmanship indicating advanced cognitive skills and planning abilities. Acheulean tools have been found at numerous sites across Africa, Europe, and Asia, reflecting the widespread distribution and technological sophistication of Homo erectus. Use of fire the controlled use of fire is one of the most significant behavioral innovations attributed to Homo erectus. Evidence of fire use has been found at several archaeological sites, including Zakudian in China and Wonderwork Cave in South Africa. Dating back to around one million years ago, the ability to control fire would have provided numerous advantages, such as cooking food, providing warmth, and deterring predators. The use of fire also indicates advanced cognitive abilities and social organization, as it would have required cooperation and communication among group members. Shelters and dwellings While evidence of permanent shelters is limited, there are indications that Homo erectus used natural features and constructed simple structures for protection and living. At sites like Terra Amida in France, dating to around 400,000 years ago, archaeologists have found evidence of temporary shelters, including post holes and stone arrangements that suggest the presence of simple huts. These structures would have provided protection from the elements and predators, indicating a degree of foresight and planning in Homo erectus behavior. Hunting and Gathering Homo erectus was likely a proficient hunter and gatherer, relying on a diverse diet that included both plant and animal resources. The presence of animal bones with cut marks at various archaeological sites suggests that Homo erectus hunted and butchered large game, using their stone tools for processing meat. The development of more sophisticated hunting strategies and tools would have allowed Homo erectus to exploit a wider range of ecological niches, contributing to their success and widespread distribution. Cognitive and Social Evolution Brain Expansion One of the most significant aspects of Homo erectus evolution is the expansion of brain size compared to earlier hominins. The average brain size of Homo erectus ranged from 600 to 1,100 cubic centimeters, significantly larger than that of Australopithecus and early Homo species. This increase in brain size is associated with advanced cognitive abilities, including improved problem-solving skills, social organization, and technological innovation. The development of a larger brain also suggests changes in diet and energy expenditure, as a more complex brain requires greater nutritional resources. Social organization The archaeological and fossil evidence suggests that Homo erectus lived in social groups with a degree of cooperation and division of labor. The use of fire, construction of shelters, and coordinated hunting activities imply that Homo erectus had developed social structures and communication skills necessary for group living. The presence of multiple individuals at sites like Dmanasai and Zakudian indicates that Homo erectus engaged in collective activities, such as sharing food and caring for group members. Language and Communication While direct evidence of language in Homo erectus is lacking, the complexity of their tools, use of fire, 
and social organizations suggest that they possessed some form of communication. The development of more sophisticated tools and hunting strategies would have required coordination and information sharing among group members. The presence of symbolic behavior, such as the use of red ochre at certain sites, also hints at the possibility of early symbolic communication and cultural practices. Adaptation and dispersal Environmental adaptability Homo erectus demonstrated remarkable adaptability to a wide range of environments, from the savannas of Africa to the temperate regions of Europe and Asia. Their ability to exploit diverse ecological niches is evidenced by their widespread distribution and longevity as a species. The development of advanced stone tools, use of fire, and construction of shelters would have enabled Homo erectus to cope with varying climatic conditions and resource availability. Out of Africa The migration of Homo erectus out of Africa marks a significant milestone in human evolution. The presence of Homo erectus fossils at sites like Damanasai in Georgia, Java in Indonesia, and Zakudian in China indicates that this species was the first hominin to disperse widely across the Old World. The successful colonization of diverse environments outside Africa highlights the adaptability and resilience of Homo erectus populations. This migration also set the stage for the later dispersal of Homo sapiens and other hominin species. Evolutionary Legacy Homo erectus is considered a pivotal species in human evolution, bridging the gap between earlier hominins and modern humans. Their anatomical, cognitive, and technological advancements laid the foundation for subsequent hominin evolution. The traits and behaviors developed by Homo erectus, such as increased brain size, toolmaking skills, and social organization, were further refined and expanded upon by later hominins, including Homo heidelbergensis, Homo neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens. The legacy of Homo erectus is thus integral to our understanding of the evolutionary processes that shaped the emergence of modern humans. Conclusion The legacy of Homo erectus is a testament to the adaptability, ingenuity, and resilience of this ancient hominin species. Through their widespread geographical distribution, technological innovations, and social behaviors, Homo erectus made significant contributions to the evolutionary trajectory of our genus. The archaeological sites, fossils, and artifacts they left behind provide invaluable insights into their way of life and their role in shaping the course of human evolution. As we continue to uncover and study these remnants of our ancient past, the story of Homo erectus will remain a crucial chapter in the ongoing exploration of our origins and development as a species.